Hi. In this lesson we talk about simplification of algebraic fractions. We will solve an exercise. Consider the expression, 3 divided by x minus 1, plus 4 divided by x plus 1, plus x plus 9 divided by x squared minus 1. The expression is, the sum of three algebraic fractions. In order to simplify this expression, we'll need a common denominator. The denominator of the first fraction, x minus 1, is a monic polynomial of degree 1. It's irreducible. The denominator of the second fraction, x plus 1, is also a monic polynomial of degree 1. It's irreducible. The denominator of the third fraction, x squared minus 1, can be factored. This polynomial is a difference of squares. x squared is the square of x, 1 is the square of 1. Remember the difference of two perfect squares rule. A squared minus b squared, equals to a minus b times a plus b. Applying the difference of squares formula, we get x squared minus 1 equals to x minus 1, times x plus 1. We rewrite the expression, with the denominators in factored form. We have, 3 divided by x minus 1, plus 4 divided by x plus 1, plus x plus 9 divided by x plus 1, times x minus 1. We find the least common multiple of denominators to simplify the expression. Remember that, the least common multiple is the product of the highest powers, of all the factors that occur in any of the given polynomials. Now, we list all the factors of the denominators. The first denominator has the following factor, x minus 1. The second denominator has the following factor, x plus 1. The third denominator has the following factors, x plus 1, and x minus 1. The highest power of factor x minus 1, is 1. The highest power of factor x plus 1, is 1. The least common multiple of the denominators, equals to x minus 1, times x plus 1. We draw a single fraction bar, and set the denominator equals to least common multiple. We divide the least common multiple by the denominator of the first fraction, x minus 1, then multiply by the numerator 3. We get 3, times x plus 1. We add 3, times x plus 1 to the numerator of the common fraction. We divide the least common multiple by the denominator of the second fraction, x plus 1, then multiply by the numerator 4. We get 4, times x minus 1. We add 4, times x minus 1 to the numerator of the common fraction. Finally, we divide the least common multiple by the denominator of the third fraction, x plus 1 times x minus 1, then multiply by the numerator x plus 9. We get x plus 9. We add x plus 9 to the numerator of the common fraction. We do the calculation and get 3 times x, plus 3, plus 4 times x, minus 4, plus x, plus 9, divided by x minus 1, times x plus 1. We add like terms 3 times x, 4 times x and x to get 8 times x. We add like terms 3, minus 4 and 9 to get 8. The two terms in the numerator have a common factor of 8. We factor 8 out of both. We get 8 times x plus 1, 
divided by x minus 1 times x plus 1. We cancel x plus 1 factor to reduce fraction. Finally, we rewrite any remaining expressions in the numerator and denominator to get 8 divided by x minus 1 